In this module, we shall discuss modular arithmetic. Let n be a fixed positive integer and a and b be any two integers. We say that a is congruent to b modulo n if n divides a minus b. We denote this by a congruent to b modulo n. This is the definition of a congruent to b modulo n. Now we are stating a theorem. Show that the congruence relation modulo n is an equivalence relation on Z. In this theorem, we need to prove that uh, congruence relation uh, satisfy reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties. Now we prove the theorem. Write n vertical bar m for n divides m. Which means that there is some integer k such that m equal to n k. This is the definition of divisibility. Hence a is congruent to b modulo n if and only if n divides a minus b. This is the precise definition of a congruent to b modulo n. For all a belonging to z, n divides a minus a. So, a is congruent to a itself modulo n and the relation is reflexive. Now we prove the symmetric property. If a is congruent to b modulo n, then by definition of congruence n divides a minus b. So we know that n divides minus a minus b. We can write minus a minus b equal to a minus b. It implies that n divides b minus a and b is congruent to a modulo n. Therefore, congruence is satisfying reflexive property. Now we prove the transitive property. If a is congruent to b modulo n and b is congruent to c modulo n and we need to prove a is congruent to c modulo n. So, by definition, n divides a minus b and n divides b minus c. And we shall get n divides a minus b plus b minus c. We have used the property of divisibility. Therefore, n divides a minus c. It implies that A is congruent to C modulo N. In this way, we have proved that the congruence relation satisfies the transitive property. Hence, congruence relation is an equivalence relation on Z. Z here is the set of integers. The set of equivalence classes is called the set of integers modulo n and it is denoted by Zn. In the congruence relation modulo 3, we have the following equivalence classes. When we divide an integer by 3, we have three possibilities of remainder. Either we shall get 0, 1 or 2. So, in the 0 class, 
you can see that we have multiples of 3 because when we divided multiples of 3 by 3 we shall get remainder equal to 0 in one class we have minus 2, 1, 4, 7, 10 and so on and in the similar manner in the class 2 class 2 means that when we divide an integer by 3 we shall get remainder 2 and those numbers which give us remainder 2 are minus 1, 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on and you can see that class 3 equal to class 0 again in class 3 you shall get multiples of 3 and it would be equal to 0 class and repetition would be started from here so we have we shall get only 3 classes z3 equal to 0 class 1 class 2 class in general we can extend this idea integers modulo n z n equal to 0 class 1 class 2 class and so on n minus 1 class there are n classes in integers modulo n 